everyone welcome back to info science today let's discuss some important characteristics of some examples of cylindrates hydra these are solitary sessile and freshwater animals it is the polyplex cylindrate and have the basal part of the body remain attached to the substratum and the upper end of the body it produces the conical elevation which is known as the hypostome and this hypostome it contains the mouth and also bears the thread like structures called the tentacles and these tentacles it bears the stinging cells known as the nematocytes one of the important characteristics of hydra is the symbiotic association so hydra show symbiotic association with two types of algae depending on the algae the color of the hydra it change due to the presence of juice and thyl the hydra colors becomes brown and due to the presence of ju chlorella the hydra colors become green now let's discuss about the locomotion of hydra so hydra shows the movement of following types expansion and contraction somersaulting gliding walking climbing floating surfacing and swimming so these are the various movement which hydra shows to locomote now let's discuss about aurelia so the aurelia is also known as jellyfish and it is the large version of the medusa of obelia these are free floating and it has a umbrella shaped body with four gonads on its upper surface and four oral lobes hanging downwards from the lower surface its body is transparent and have numerous tentacles in the peripheral part and these tentacles it bears the nematocytes the locomotion of aurelia is one of the important characteristics so it shows hydro propulsion that means it fills the body with water and then ejects the water with force so that the body moves out now let's discuss about adamsia so adamsia is known as sea anemone and it shows one of the important characteristics that is the proto cooperation means the relationship where both the organisms are benefited from each other but the association is not permanent so proto cooperation of adamsia is with hermit crab now let's discuss about physelia so physelia is known as the portuguese man of war it suddenly appears and suddenly disappears the reason behind this is that it has a large balloon like transparent structure which is known as the nematophore and whenever the air is filled inside the nematophore it provides the buoyancy as soon as the air is rejected so that's why it suddenly appears and suddenly disappears and one of the important characteristics of physelia is that it shows two forms that is the polyp and medusa now let's discuss about obelia so some cylindrates secrete exoskeleton and this exoskeleton is of calcium carbonate once the animal dies this skeleton it remains and this skeleton is known as the corals so such type of cylindrates is known as the corals 
So when these corals are in extensive masses, they form the coral reefs. And there are three types of coral reefs. Barrier reefs, atoll and the fringing reefs. So the barrier reef, it remains parallel to the shore. So one of the example is the Australia. And atoll, these are the circular reefs. An example is the Lakshadweep Island. And the fringing reef, it forms around a landmass. An example is the south coast of Florida. So these corals are bright in color and these are used in the decoration.